Hello, my name is Shachar Abudi and I'm a graduate student at the National Institute of Health. Have you ever heard the phrase, you can't change genetics? Well, I'm here to say, yes we can. And that is thanks to gene therapy. So what is gene therapy? It is a treatment designed to reverse or even prevent symptoms caused by a mutation or a change in one's DNA. Many gene therapies around the world are currently being developed and some of them are even approved in the United States and are being given to patients with different genetic diseases. There are two main approaches to gene therapy. The first one is gene complementation that gives an additional normal copy of the gene to a person with a mutated gene that does not work properly. The second one is gene editing that actually fixes a person's DNA and making their own broken gene working again. This is often done using a tool called CRISPR-Cas9. This is sort of a biological scissors that allows scientists to remove defective pieces of DNA and replace them with neural ones. My lab is using both types of gene therapy to study a rare genetic disease called hermansky pudlak syndrome, or HPS. HPS causes albinism, excessive bleeding, and sometimes scarring in the lung, which can be deadly. Unfortunately, there is no available treatment for patients with HPS, but we do know the gene and the mutations that cause it. In order to study gene therapy, we needed a model, so we mutated a gene in mice that causes symptoms similar to those seen in human patients, and then we used those mice for gene complementation. We gave newborn mice a normal copy of the gene, and then studied their cells and different tissues to see if they are cured. For gene editing, we used patient cells taken from human HPS patients, and then tried to edit their DNA. Hopefully, one day, we will be able to use one or both of these approaches to treat people with Hermansky-Pudlak syndrome and many other genetic diseases.